Do you want to know how to use Twitter lists? Good news for you, AJ Amix here, Twitter rock star, and in this video I'm going to show you how to add people, remove people from the list, subscribe to them, and more importantly, monitor those lists so you're actually going to start using them effectively. So let's get into it. Let's figure out and let's learn how to actually add people and remove people from a list. So you already know how to create your list. If you don't know then how to create your list, then go to uh, just search here on YouTube or go to my YouTube channel and search how to create um, a list, a Twitter list, and find that video and I'll show you step by step there how to do that. So I'm assuming you already know how to create your list and so now you're figuring out how do I add people, um, what does it mean if I subscribe, and then ultimately how can we monitor the list. I'm gonna show you how to do that in, in here. So let's look at this for a second. So if we wanna add people, and you already have your list created. So I already have a list, and I'll show you the list that I have created. I already have lists like my inner circle, um, marketing, coaches, etc. And so let's say I wanted to go out and add people to my inner circle. And my inner circle is like my friends and so forth. So I'd go find these people on Twitter. So let's go ahead and add my good friend Martin Shervington here. So his Twitter handle is Martin Sherv. Inkton, it's actually Martin, Martin Sherv. So I'm gonna to come to his profile, and then all I have to do is come to this little gear icon, click on that, and then I can add him to the list. So I can add or remove. So if you have somebody you wanna remove from a list, this is where you would remove him. If you wanna add them, you would add. So I'm gonna add him, and if I wanted to remove him, whatever he's you know listed as here, I would just uncheck it, right, and that would remove him or add him to the list. So I'm gonna put him in the inner circle list and boom, if I don't have a list, I could create a list here for him, but I already have the list created. So that's all I do. You don't have to click save or anything. You just select the list and then Martin is in there. So let's do another one. Let's add my good friend, Darren Monroe. He's um, here in Dallas at the moment. So I'd come to his account come into his, the little gear icon, and again, all I need to do, add or remove from list, and I can add him to the inner circle list he's done, okay? So that's how you guys add or remove people from your list. So now let's talk about like how do you, what do you do here with these lists? How do we view them? So if you just come up to your profile, come down to list here, this is gonna pull up all of your list that's gonna be here on the screen. You can see all of the lists, all of the members. So Let's go into just the inner circle list here in this example. So I would click the list that I wanna see. So I'm gonna do the inner circle. This is gonna pop up on my screen and you can see all of the tweets. So right now I only have 10 members in this list and that's right now, it's all I want. And so anytime whoever um, is in this, is a member of this list, anytime they tweet, it doesn't matter if they retweet or they send their own tweet, it's dropped into this little list here and I can monitor this, okay? So this is one way to monitor your list is just directly here within the Twitter platform so I can see what well, my good friend Sue and Vivica and Roberto, you know, here's Martin since I had him, here's Darren, right? He's doing, Darren Scott's doing, Monroe's doing some great, great periscope uh, some scopes right now. So I would recommend following him as well. So. This is how I can engage. I can come in here and I can favorite, I can send at replies, I can retweet, etc. And this is how I can monitor all of my friends rather than having to dig through that crazy news feed. So that's one way that you could monitor. Now here's another way that you could monitor lists. You could use some type of Twitter dashboard. So I'll use Hootsuite. Doesn't mean that you can't use something like TweetDeck or Buffer or Meet Edgar or anything like that. I just am familiar with Hootsuite and I've been using it for a long time. So let me show you how you can set that up. So you just need to be able to add a stream. And when you log into Hootsuite, if you don't see this little option here, maybe it looks something like this. All you need to do is come down here to the bottom right, click the little green plus button, and then this brings you up your options. You come to list, just select list and then you can just add. So if you find the list, here's the inner circle, click the plus button, boom, it creates a little window here in real time. Anytime somebody on that list tweets, it drops it in there, and again, I can reply, I can retweet, I can favorite, I can send a direct message, and I can manage everything. I can manage that list and area, all of my social interactions here on Twitter right here within my dashboard here within Hootsuite, okay? So we've talked about adding, we've talked about removing, we've talked about also monitoring. Now the last thing that we need to understand when it's talk when we're talking about and understanding using list, what if you want to subscribe to other 
uh, people's list. So what, what is a way to do that? So you could just search, and I'm just going to just do social media list, right? And we can just search here in Twitter, and that's one way that we can find list here in Twitter. And you're going to find the top tw tweets that are coming through for those keywords. And so let's come over to Rebecca, right? Just click on her profile. And then you can see list right here. And so we'll just, just go ahead and click and we can see all of the lists. So she has coffee lovers, she has social, social blood, uh, buzz club. So let's just come to the social buzz club. I'll click on this one here and then I can subscribe. So I'm just going to go ahead and subscribe to this. So now that I'm subscribed, you can see that if I come over to my list now, that this one sh is going to be on my list, right? Here it is. So now if I click on it, it's going to be boom. I can see all of the tweets. And again, you remember that I could add that into Hootsuite. I could add that into Hootsuite. So that's all you have to do. Just go find people leading your industry. See what lists they have created. You can find the list that they've created. And if you want, you can subscribe to those. And then you can monitor those, et cetera. And you can see she has 11 people that have subscribed to that to be able to pay attention, interact, et cetera. So if you ever want to unsubscribe, you just come into that list, click unsubscribe, and bam, you're unsubscribed. So now if we come over to list and see my list, you're going to see that it's no longer here on my list because I'm not subscribed to it any longer. So that's, we've covered everything, my friends. We've talked about adding and removing people to your list. We've talked about monitoring the list within the Twitter platform. Also using something like Hootsuite or whatever your Twitter dashboard of choice is. And then we've also talked about subscribing to list and what that actually means. Hey, do you like this video? Well, I want you to do me a favor and leave a comment right below this video. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I don't want to see you missing out on any of the rocking content that I'm going to deliver to you. And this is AJ Amix, the Twitter rock star, signing out. Peace.